What's up, you guys? Uh, just woke up. It's Jesus Christ, 7:25 a.m. And today I am going to take. Oh my God, my lips are so fucking chapped. <laughs> today I'm going to take you with me into. <laughs> wow, I can't get over that. Fuck. Hold on. Let me put some shit on here. Today I'm going to take you with me to the Golf Wang store in Los Angeles and we're going to see if we can meet some cool like famous people or some shit because I have nothing better to do with my time. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I really want to go today because I never went to the original Odd Future store that was on, uh, that was on Fairfax, but like I maybe went, maybe like one time, but I didn't even know who the fuck they were, and I just thought, like, oh, that's some cool shit, but I hadn't even put, like, two and two together to say, like, oh, that's, like, title of a creator and, like, shit like that, so I'm gonna go this time and, like, actually meet him, if he's there, hopefully, I, like, if he's, <laughs> if he's not there, then I'm gonna be so bummed, but let's see what happens, and, yeah, I told my parents that I have a job interview today, just so I could go, um, into Hollywood. <laughs> But that's the price you gotta pay. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just got like some really fancy clothes ready to go and shit like that. Uh, we got these. Got these babies ready to go today. Got these motherfuckers. The little oh shit, that looks so bad. The quality of that looks so bad. <laughs> all ready to go. All. Draw that. I love these, dude. I want to skate. I think I'm gonna skate these today after I leave. So basically, the plan today is just go, go and oh shit, fuck. Basically, the whole plan for today is just to go to the store. Um, hopefully meet some people. I'm not buying shit because the prices are fucking astronomically high for t-shirts and hats and just regular fucking clothes. But yeah, hopefully um meet some cool people and I don't know. After that I think I'm gonna go down Hollywood Boulevard and take some pictures and then I'm just gonna go into Westchester and skate for the rest of the day, so yeah. Alright, so what's the fit we rocking with today? Let's see. Right here. Nice shirt. A little slight work with the Tommy jeans right there. And, of course, the white huffs. And I think, I think I'm going to shave real quick. Just like to get rid of all this tiny little shit. It's really nothing but... Gotta do it. Bitch. Dude, <laughs> I've been on like so many fucking first dates at this place, it's really insane. And yeah, like three or four blocks away from the fucking store, Tyler just posted some shit like about him selling the carnival. I forgot the carnival was this weekend, but I guess he's selling tickets there at the store, so I guess he's obviously there, hopefully. Um, so yeah, we're about to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just skate for like the next few blocks and then yeah uh, I'll open the camera back up when I get there just got here right now and the line is fucking humongous I didn't even I knew there were gonna be a lot of people here but I didn't think there'd be like this many people I look like an asshole through class but yeah I think I'm gonna just this is like just the beginning of it like it, the line spans at least a whole fucking block of that shit so yeah I'm gonna try and not look like a fucking creep 
and show you guys how long. Oh shit, I think it's in my face. Show you how long this fucking line is, and if it's too long, then I might not stay. I might just fucking go do some fun shit because I'm not even gonna buy anything anyway. But yeah, let's see how long it takes. Yeah, hello? Yeah, it was good. She's so sorry. PeyptonPearson.bandcamp.com. Go peep that music. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Mafioso. M I F I O S O. Let's try to tie this up. Thank you. Hey, hit me up on Pornhub. Hey, sure. Thank you, man. Twice. I So this nigga like legit just rolled past the fucking store, meaning that he's not inside the fucking store. So there's really no point in staying to wait to go inside the fucking store. And I look so dark right now. But I don't know. You can't even bring your fucking camera in there anyway, so it's not even like worth it. And I feel like I wasted like the whole fucking trip over here. But I'm gonna just wait in line and see if I can meet some cool people or just see, I don't fucking know, whatever. Maybe something cool will happen, maybe not. Who fucking knows? <laughs> so I've been here for about half an hour. None of them was called quits. A lot of people, people in the front of the line were saying they've been like maybe a couple stores down in the beginning. And they just got there like right now for like four hours and I'm not even gonna buy shit anyway, so there's no point. So I'm gonna just go over to Hollywood, take some pictures of shit and see what else happens. So I finally left the golf store on Hollywood Boulevard now. Let's see if I can show you. Hollywood Boulevard. Just about to go take some pictures and probably change so I'm like a little bit more inconspicuous and I'm not like standing out in this bright ass shirt because people in fucking Hollywood are kind of crazy when you take pictures of them without their permission but fuck it um I don't know it's really interesting to me like people ask me why I come here so often like and take pictures and shit and I like like how how weird it is and like how people come like all the way across the world to like see this shit and I think it's like this grand spectacle place but it's like actually just really dirty and bummy and just, I don't know, really weird. And every time I come here, like, something new and cool happens. So I'm going to change my shirt, go lurk a little bit, and then I'm going to go skate. So, yeah. What the fuck? I am now acquired my disguise and am ready to stalk the streets of Hollywood and lurk and take some really weird fucking pictures of these people. So I just got back from Hollywood. Got to skate. I got to take some good pictures, but I didn't get. Oh my god! 
got to take some really cool pictures but I didn't get to like skate as much as I wanted to I wanted to go to the skate park in Westchester but I don't have any time because like the train is gonna be here like pretty soon and I was just over here looking at this the fucking what are these stores oh, Jesus. I was just looking at this store right here because I tried to buy like maybe quick story time real quick Maybe like, oh shit, zoomed in all the way. Maybe like two years ago, I think, yeah. Two years ago, I tried to get a job because they were selling, the guy who owned that store, the fucking roofing place, he was selling like a really nice old uh, Rolls Royce. And I worked, I had a beach job where I volunteered and shit to get the money to fucking buy the car. But like, right as it was a un unpaid internship but right when i was maybe like two or three like under the counter checks away from getting enough money because i was going to split the cost with my parents i didn't have, i didn't have my fucking license at the time too so i had like saved up enough money for almost enough money for my like half of the fucking portion of it and then this nigga decides that he's not going to sell the fucking car anymore talking about oh uh this has so much nostalgia or some bullshit like that like nigga i've been working my ass off trying to buy this shit and all of us like what the? i was so mad dude i'm never going to fucking ichiban roofing whatever the fuck that sh bullshit is fuck. <laughs> i sound so mad i don't even know who the fuck owns that shit but i was just so mad when they fucking took the car back because i really wanted that fucking rolls royce like that shit looks so sick it was a white 1960 Five, I think Silver Shadow and it looks so fuck like Google that shit right now. Those cars are fucking tight as shit. Dumbass was jaywalking and I fucking lost my fucking sunglasses in the middle of the road. Like right there. And I'm hoping no one fucking rolls over them until I can get one. And there's like so many fucking it's not traffic, but I think I can fucking get it. Let's see if I got it. Because I fucking hate not having my glasses. Alright. Fuck. <laughs> About to do it. Uh, I don't think there are any cars. This is this guy. Fuck. I really want to say my glasses. You better not fucking roll over my shit. Oh, wow. Wow. That's life. Fuck. Wow, I'm actually bummed right now. Uh, okay. In the hometown of Ladera Heights. I don't know why, but this is like such a fucking tiny ass place that like no one's ever heard of. Like I swear to God, if I've ever mentioned Ladera to anyone, they'll be like, what the fuck is that? Or like, where is that? It's like, dude. It's like right in between. It's such like a hidden place too, low key. Like it's like a fucking black suburb. like. A bunch of rich like black doctors and lawyers and shit like that live here but it's like the ghettoest schools like fucking la tijera dude fucking hated this school so much but it's like in the fucking center of fucking madera and i'm not even being like extra like trying to sound like edgy but it was probably like my fucking worst year of school because like on top of me leaving a place that I was like actually accepted into, it was like going backwards and kind of like being right back into like the place of like being misunderstood or like being like the weird kid all the time because I was into like, you know, skating and flooding my pants. Can you even see that shit? Let me see. Because I was into like skating and like flooding my pants and like drawing on my shoes and shit. And it was like so, like out of the norm for those kind of kids that went there so it was weird like having to deal with that but i mean like i guess someone is fucking up the audio i met some really cool people here though i can't lie but shout out mr kane and miss t <laughs> if you're watching these videos and i'm sorry i disappointed you but yeah i mean i met like a couple of friends that like i actually really fuck with but other than that, like, this place was fucking hell, like, niggas real, like, this shit was really like the fucking lube for the anal fuck that Inglewood High School was. And, I don't know, it's a nice school, like, it's a good, 
architecturally built school, but I, it's, <laughs> it just fucking sucks. But yeah, that's my little rant of the school that I don't even fucking go to anymore. Like, uh, little bridge in between, Ladera. Pretty sick. Pretty iconic. Um, odd future history lesson. Um, when Tyler in the song November, shit. Wow, okay. In the song November, when Tyler says, um, hope I don't wind up in them shitty apartments next to Bank of America, he's talking about, I don't even know if these are apartments, but this is the one in Ladera, that's across from the Bank of America, that rhyme. And uh, yeah, he's basically saying that if you live here, you live in a shit home. That's where they're fucking, oh my god, that is a big ass dog. Oh, what the fuck? Can I even see it? That is a big ass dog. Fuck that shit. On our fucking memory lane shit. Like, that was the first place I ever had. That was the first. I had my first birthday there. I can't even fucking phrase that shit right. <laughs> but yeah, got some new fucking glasses from the fucking 99 cent store, which just goes to show you, you know? Everything material can be replaced. So don't stress that bullshit. Break it and just buy another one. Unless it's like a house or a car or some shit like that. But yeah, don't even fucking risk your shit trying to get an item. Because it can be replaced just that fast. So I just got over here to Union Station and I missed my fucking train fucking around with this goddamn bus. And there's like no more trains leaving out to my fucking station tonight. Or to my city, whatever. So I have to fucking sit here for like an hour and a half and wait for my dad to come and fucking pick me up. I'm so mad. I would have gone to San Bernardino, but the Uber, like, from there to my house was like 40 bucks. And I'm not, like, even if I had a fucking job or even if I had money, I'm not going to pay $40 just to go home. So they got me fucked up on that part. But I don't know, like, my dinner tonight is going to be some fucking Doritos and a brisk. <laughs> but I don't know. Today was a pretty good day pretty successful I'd say we got we got over to the golf store didn't turn out how I anticipated but met a few cool people um, I don't know uh, got to see some shit I guess I don't know but then I went to Hollywood and took some really good pictures and I don't know where I'm gonna post them but they're fucking fire so all in all like I hate planning on my days honestly because they never go like how I see it in my head and then like when I when it's not like that I get like all disappointed and shit in myself. So it's better to like just do, do shit like the way you want oh fuck. Just do shit like as the day goes on instead of like trying to plan it all out because if it doesn't go the way you wanted it to, then shit just really cute. Oh my god. I'm gonna be a creep right now. Fuck. Ah oh, she had really nice hair. You can't even see it all the way over here. Looks so creepy. Wow. Okay. Anyway, it's better like to just do your shit and then have things happen for you instead of like trying to plan it out and then make it. I feel I sound so stupid right now. Like, I'm just sitting here in this fucking chair. But yeah, I don't know. Still pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I'd say is like Tyler, just just chill on the prices, bro, or just make it like. Don't make the thing so exclusive because that's what like drives people out. Because there's people who would wait, I guess, forever to stand in line to buy your shit. But I feel like he takes advantage of that fact that like people are willing to do that for him and it's like certain people aren't willing to do that and that's what kind of drives it away. But he's still making money anyway, so it doesn't matter, but still. I don't know. That's just me trying to throw in my two fucking cents. But yeah, other than that, it was still a pretty successful day.